Welcome back. The time now is 619. And joining us this morning, Dr. Ravi Patel with the Comprehensive Blood and Cancer Center, here to tell us more about the impacts the coronavirus and this current pandemic have had on local cancer patients. Dr. Patel, thank you so much. It's so good to see your face. Same here, Maddie. Good morning. Good morning. So tell us first off, um, you know, we were just talking during the commercial break whether or not local cancer patients have had any fear about getting their treatment because I know that's the case in local hospitals. A lot of people are afraid to go in to get treatment for uh, things even like uh, heart attacks and strokes. Are cancer patients having those same fears? No, so uh, very important to remember, uh, it's very uh, critical that cancer patients should feel safe because it's, uh, you know, they're older, they're very challenged, and it's a very scary environment for them. However, it's very important that they be reassured that uh, there are a variety of things which we've done to protect them when they come into the office. Uh, we, it's not a single person's effort. It's been an entire team. They can come in safely. Also, uh, very important, uh, but a majority of the patients can have their treatment delivered on time because we use a variety of measures. For example, there are uh, certain injections which protect your immunity as well as protect a variety of your white cells and, and proteins in your body which can get rid of infection. So the answer to your question, no, a majority of the patients who really need their treatment are getting their treatment. Now, there are certain cancers, for example, there are slow-growing breast cancers or slow-growing cancers of the lung. We can sometimes delay their treatment without jeopardizing the outcomes, which I think is very critical. But if a patient who needs treatment immediately, we have been able to deliver it very effectively. Which, um, are all cancer patients at an increased risk of complications from COVID-19 if they were to get it? Uh, you know, uh, majority of the patients uh, are still safe. If you look at the, uh, the actual incidence of getting COVID in our office setup since this started, we have only had one patient get it so far. And it's been a patient who was referred to us from outside and had it. Uh, but other than that, we have had nobody get that. Uh, none of our patients have had problems. And uh, the patients who are at increased risk are patients who, for example, have undergone bone marrow transplantation or are older patients or patients with advanced lung cancer. There is a higher incidence in these patients for getting the COVID infections. But overall, uh, you know, we've been lucky, fortunately, uh, and we haven't seen any of our cancer patients so far get COVID. Is it safe for a cancer patient to delay their surgery because of the pandemic? Yeah, so, you know, uh, it's interesting. Surgery, when you, when you move people around, uh, as we know, social distancing has been the key for this disease. So we want to minimize people interacting with a lot of people going to the emergency rooms, this and that. So uh, one of the things is that there are certain cancers which are slow growing. For example, there are slow growing breast cancers, even lung cancers, there are certain slow growing lung cancers. So what you can do is those cancers, we can wait for uh, six weeks, eight weeks, 12 weeks, and then deliver the treatment or do the surgery, which has also helped the patients immensely. Another really remarkable thing which has happened in cancer care, uh, all over the country is that, you know, we were all under the impression, just like we're doing this interview right now, that I need to be sitting next to you to do something. And we're realizing that we can do a lot of things virtually, see people virtually, uh, save them a lot of trips, communicate with them what to do, monitor the blood tests uh, also on a virtual basis. So, you know, virtual medicine and telemedicine is bringing about a great change, you know. Absolutely, and I'm, I think that a lot of those changes probably will stay with us for some time as some people realize the possibilities, capabilities, and convenience. Dr. Patel, thank you so much for joining us this morning. We appreciate it. Thank you so much, Mandy. Have a great day and the best to all of you. You as well. We'll be right back after this. Sunrise Interviews is brought to you by Valley Strong Credit Union. We are these fields. 
We are these roots. We see the beauty in the everyday with pride from where we came. We look ahead to the places that pull us together, to the places that we call home. A new chapter begins now. Kern Schools Federal Credit Union is now Valley Strong Credit Union. Grow your possibilities. Visit valleystrong.com slash grow to learn more.